Welcome to Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. Today is August 7th and I'm broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Um, I'm happy to see you all in this very auspicious, beautiful, sunny day from Southern California. So last week, I, if you remember, I asked you, um, I would like you to examine the source of this me, this thought you where where is that one coming from anybody had a chance to do it don't be afraid you can let me know if you did it or not i'm not gonna grade you so you didn't do nobody did it huh all right let's see hi pragya hi hi i did it oh you did it good <laughs> You didn't shake your hand, so I couldn't tell. No, so, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you did or you didn't? You, uh, you, you were examining the source. Yes, I, I was often because um, I used this time to do something what I usually don't like to do at all, my taxes. And uh, it's like every time when they came up, I don't like to do it. Uh, I was just uh, doing my examination and I have never had so much fun with my taxes so far. <laughs> so. Okay. <laughs> okay. You had never had so much fun with what? With doing, with doing my tax collection. Oh, sorry. With doing my tax collection because it's like usually I don't like it. And uh, right. every time when my thought come up about like, uh, doing the tax collection and I don't like it was like okay who's saying that yeah and how much fun can I have with that and uh, actually it's working quite good so no complaints beautiful so you already can see like it gets transformed when you're questioning it when you're really looking at it because the mind comes and says oh I'm so bored I hate doing this as a thought and then when you look at it and examine it and you it disappears am i right yes yeah and yesterday i had the same thing where i felt like on a certain topic i felt like oh i could jump out of the window right now <laughs> right. and i was like okay question and then i said who is who is this maybe i stay and the one who wants to go out of the window could show out of the window so it changed <laughs> Yeah, it's so it's easy. beautiful i'm very happy to hear that congratulations <laughs> keep doing the work so but let's say uh and i'm speaking to everybody let's say you're very busy you're being a mom you're being a dad you have your work and you really engage with with whatever you're doing and you can't do this but you're gonna have half an hour an hour couple hours that you have nothing to do i mean you will have some time to yourself i don't care how busy you are as a mom as a as a husband wife parent you know child whatever is your situation uh you're gonna have time that you're not you're alone by yourself that alone time you have by yourself you can dedicate it into checking out examining the source of this i thought this to me challenging it and kind of checking it out that these thoughts and these feelings these emotions that are rising that are important to you whatever is the subject of the story which is you find it important to you you can trace it back to this me this i and then when it, you trace it back to you to the i then you challenge this i this this person this me that this story is important to it and you just check that one out to see how real is that one and as pragna has been doing it 
And then all of a sudden, as you do it for a while, and it depends where you're at on your spiritual path. For some people, it may take a little bit longer, and some people may get, get into it quicker. But it doesn't matter. But if you hang in there and you do it regularly, you make a habit of it, then it leads you into this place. It leads you to this place of freedom that every time you discover, you come to this presence, you come to this place. I don't want to say necessarily bliss, but you come to a very quiet, blissful, quiet place that it's very still. We can call it the observer, the witness. But it's just you come back to the source of yourself. And it's not even you as what you think you are. It's going beyond the idea of you. You go back to the source of yourself. Where this you comes from, it's pre who you think you are. And then you fall back into this place and there is an instant realization every time you do that of everything is very still, everything is quiet and it's very clear that all is very well. And there is no involvement with the story. Even if it happens for a couple of seconds, you come back to your freedom. And then you're capable of doing the most boring thing that you don't like to do. You know, because this thought that I hate doing this, I hate being here, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. It's a thought appearing to another imaginary character that that character is also imaginary, it's not real which I call it you, who you think, your idea of who you think you are, because you never examined that. No one has ever told you this. Nobody has told you that examine you. All of your trainings up to this point in your life has been to examine the content of your thoughts you're challenging you're examining your thoughts or examining your emotions okay but you haven't examined the person who is experiencing him <laughs> 